Aquarius, howdy, 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 ho, or Heidi, 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 ho. How are you? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii, and this is your general love reading for November 7th of 2021. Welcome. Thank you for being here. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Definitely make sure you check out my description box below. I have a lot of information in there as far as where to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, how to become a member, how to inquire about a personal reading. And if you're interested in the extended reading for this video, you definitely want to check out the description box, okay? Shout out to all the Aquarians, everybody that's a member. Thank you for being a member. If you're not a member, click that join button. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow my other channel, which is Miss Hawaii Scorpios. If you have time, please subscribe to that channel. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, let's keep this a positive only zone, okay? Positive energy only. So thank you to everybody that got me a birthday gift. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for all your birthday wishes. You guys are awesome for that. Let's see what's going on. How is Aquarius feeling currently in love? How is Aquarius currently feeling in love? How is Aquarius currently feeling in love? What do we got there? The star in reverse. That's your major arcana card. Why are you getting it in reverse? You going to start like that, Aquarius? You going to really start like that with your major in reverse? That's the card that represents you. Okay. There's a connection here you could be losing hope in, losing faith. You're not believing in it anymore. You're a little bit discouraged right now. The nine of cups. You want to be happy. I feel like this person makes you happy. Very, 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 very happy. It's hard for you to even look at other options because you kind of focus on this person, even though some of y'all do have other options. I'm seeing confusion. Seven of wands, a guardedness, or a possibility that you're trying to fight for this connection. And we got the fool in reverse on the bottom. Could be the person you're dealing with. Could be an Aries. Could be a water sign because you got a lot of water energy here. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull your person's cards. See how they feel about you. Okay. Don't forget if you would like to, um, if this reading is resonating for you, there is an extended reading link in the description box. You can click on that link. It will take you over to Vimeo where I will do a full spread on your person. See how they feel about you and what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. And I'll also get advice for you from the universe. Personal readings, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. If you're not a member yet, click that join button to get membership access. You will get access to private readings only accessible to my members. All right. And donation info as well is in the description box below. Let's see your person. The hermit in reverse. Your person's kind of distant from you. Keeping a distance. They could have withdrawn from you. It could be a Virgo you're dealing with for some of you. Queen of swords in reverse. Your person acting funny. The wheel of fortune. Change. Okay. Okay. One more card for how this person feel about Aquarius, please. Wow. The two of cups in reverse. Overall energy is the two of swords in reverse. Okay. What's under that? The queen of pentacles. The eight of cups in reverse. So this is somebody that you can't walk away from. Ace of wands in reverse. I feel like you're trying to get something started. You're trying to get something like kickstart something or restart something. Uh, but I see you being a bit discouraged with your major arcana card starting out in reverse. Your person is being kind of cutthroat. Queen of swords in reverse. Maybe they're, maybe they're being really distant or they're holding something against you from the past. 
Um, two of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all, this is somebody you broke up with or somebody you're currently in separation with. Um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a distance between the two of you. And I feel like it's more your person's energy. I feel like you want this. I feel like this is somebody that makes you very happy. I see some of you wanting to fight for this. Um, but you're still kind of protective of your energy because I think you know how um, how this person makes you feel. Um, and for some of you, like they really have the power here to control your day or control your emotions. Meaning if you hear from this person, if things are good with this person, you'll be in a good mood. And others of you, if you don't, you'll be in a bad mood. It could affect you. Some of you could even fall into depression. Okay. But you're trying to protect yourself from that energy because you don't want to have anybody um, really control your, your emotions and your feelings to this extent. Some of you, it's another air sign you're dealing with. It could be another Aquarius, a Gemini, or a um, Libra. Why did I just not fucking... And I'm also seeing Virgo for your person, okay? So let's clarify some of these and get down to the nitty gritty. Please clarify the star card in reverse, which is Aquarius's major arcana. The nine of cups in reverse. So it's here twice now. Um, with the devil, oh my God. Could be a Capricorn here. Oof. You kind of obsessed with this person, Aquarius. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Um, it's not in a bad way though, but I feel that if you don't handle it, like I was saying earlier, if you don't handle it in the appropriate way, it can be it can be toxic for you. Um, I see because, like I said, it controls your emotions with the Nine of Cups in reverse. I think you feeling that this isn't working out or it's not going how you want it to, it really fucking bothers you. Um, a part of some of y'all are feeling like moving on with the Six of Swords or you would like to move on. Or maybe you're scared that this person has moved on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's see the nine of cups here. Some of you guys missed that intimacy here with that with this person. Show me the nine of cups. The king of pentacles. Wow. With the empress. Oh, shit. Oh, you're doing big dog shit right here. This is somebody you can see yourself committing to long term. This is somebody you can see yourself being with in a marriage, commitment, having kids with long term. Some of y'all like... They could be the only dick or the only pussy I touch for the rest of my life. And you will be okay with that. Like you really look up to this person. Because you, with the Empress energy, some of y'all just think this person is like everything you want. The Seven of Wands, again, some of y'all want to fight for this shit. Some of y'all want to fight for this shit. Some of y'all like, no, Miss Hawaii, ain't no way. Ain't no way. You going to let this shit go. You like, I'm going to have to fight a motherfucker. Some of y'all know they got other people around them. And you like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to fight all these niggas off. Okay, Aquarius. Let me see the seven of cups in reverse. <laughs> Shit. Three of wands with the wheel of fortune. Here again. You can see a future with this person. Just like I said. Empress. Oh, my God. You're making my pussy wet. You think this person look real good? And some of y'all, it's just everything about them. Like they physique, the way they carry themselves, what they do for a living, how they dress, how they do their hair, how they speak, uh, with the car they drive, the way the shoes they wear, the fucking way they bat their eyes and the way their eyes get cockeyed. I mean, whatever it is, you fucking love it. Some of y'all got options and you're not even paying no attention to none of these options. Because you're like, this person is just it for me. You want change. And it's funny, y'all both pulling the wheel of fortune. So I feel like y'all both want change in a sense. Now let's see this seven of wands. Damn Aquarius. The knight of swords in reverse. 
with the tower. Damn. Could be a Scorpio. Something went down here between you and this person. But I feel like you slowly but surely, the fool in reverse. You could have did something foolish. Maybe they did. Somebody could have been immature. That could have been the reason why y'all broke up or y'all separated. Some Y'all had a tower moment here. But I feel like you're not letting this tower moment defeat you. I feel like you're still standing up. Some of y'all are a little bit guarded towards this person because of the tower moment. But the knight of swords in reverse. That's you. I feel like you are taking your time. Some of y'all are trying to just move slowly. Okay, I like it, but I do see that tower moment that, that went down between y'all. All right, let's see your person, the hermit in reverse. Show me the hermit in reverse. Why is your person so withdrawn and distant towards you? The ace of wands in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse. With the death card in reverse. Oh, Oh, could be a Scorpio. This person ain't over you. This person ain't, ain't put the nail in, the, in the, the final nail in the coffin. They may have 10, 9 out of 10 nails in there, but they didn't put that last one in. Uh-huh. It ain't over. I don't care how withdrawn they are. Maybe this person just needs some time. I feel like they're getting over whatever went, went on between y'all, though. Nine of Swords in reverse. I feel like whatever was stressing them out or whatever was causing them to be withdrawn or distant towards you, they're getting over it. Whatever was causing them anxiety or making them worry about this connection or even some of y'all trust issues, they're getting over it. They ain't let you go, but I don't see them starting shit either. You know what I'm saying? Let me see the Queen of Swords in reverse. Your person is something else. Queen of Swords in reverse could be you too. Two of Swords. I feel like they want peace with you, but they trying to make a decision here. Knight of Pentacles, and they moving slow as hell. <laughs> your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like your person do want peace with you. They do want to reconcile or make things right with you or make things better. But I feel like they are moving with like they got molasses in their ass crack. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Hello. It's a very slow moving energy. It's moving, but it's slow. But you moving slow anyway. With the two of swords. That's about making a decision here. Let me see the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords. You see? With the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Death in reverse. Oh, this person trying to decide here. Do they want to fuck with you? Or do they want to dead it? Point blank period. I feel like they leaning more towards keeping this shit alive. The sun. Yeah, because you make them happy. Hello, could be a Leo or a Scorpio. You make this person happy. They trying to decide they can be flexible towards you. Uh-huh. Hello. They haven't put that nail in the coffin. Show me the two of cups in reverse. They could be in denial. Show me the two of cups in reverse. The tower in reverse. You see what I'm saying? With the two of cups upright. Oh, shit. See? Aquarius, breathe. You can breathe now. Okay? Let all that hot air out. Because it ain't over. It ain't over till the fat lady sings and Patty LaBelle ain't singing. 
I don't care how distant y'all are or the separation is going on between the two of y'all. I feel like with the tower in reverse, the person is not allowing the tower to come down between you and them. I'm seeing the seven of swords, they could be pretending like the shit is over. They could be fronting. <laughs> like they walked away or everything is done or they done, they over you and da, 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 da. eight of swords in reverse. Because they don't want to be trapped. They don't want to fucking feel trapped or like they're fucking stuck. But this person, mm -mm, they're not over you. Show me the seven of swords. It ain't over to the fat lady sings. The queen of wands in reverse. This person is fronting, yo. This person is fronting like they don't want this shit. They could even have somebody else for some of y'all. They could maybe have somebody else around them. They're in denial, I'm getting. Your person is heavy in denial. They care about you. I see some communication too. I don't know if you communi if you sent them a message or something like that. They fronting. Wow. Now let's look like this. How does Aquarius feel about this person? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. There it is again. Upright though. Oh, you're doing a lot of fantasizing about them, huh? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. With the Ace of Swords. Communication. Seeing you wanting to talk. All your pentacles is in reverse, though. I'm seeing you more like kind of in an imaginary state or a fantasizing state. Some of y'all doing a lot of fantasizing about this person. Their energy seems like they're distracted. And I see you wanting to come out of the doghouse with them. The nine of cups again. Twice from two different decks. This person make you real happy. This person brings you a lot of pleasure. Um... But I don't know what's going on as far as long term with them, though. Getting heavy earth energy for this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, they seem very distracted. And I think it makes you question whether you can actually see long term with them. Or if they want long term with you. Some of y'all, it has to do with stability, with their money, with their finances. Let's see what Kipper got to say, and then I'm going to go into the extended. Now I'm going to do a full spread on your person, okay? Give us a Kipper card for this person, please. Give us a Kipper card for this person dealing with Aquarius, mature man. With the distant horizons on the bottom. So some of y'all may be in a long, this may be long distance. Maybe you guys live in different states, different countries, different cities. Or it can just mean the distance between the two of you. You know what I mean? Like, because your person seems kind of distracted, like withdrawn. I feel like they are possibly going to change. But I feel like right now, they kind of in denial about the way they feel. And some of y'all dealing with somebody that's older than you. A man that's older than you or you may be the man that's older or somebody's somebody got a mature man around them let's back here thoughts in reverse your person is not thinking about this as much as you i'm gonna be honest i feel like it's really on your mind a lot but i feel like them I don't know why. I, they may have other things going on. They may be more focused on their career, on their money, their pentacles, things like that. You know what I mean? Um, some of y'all, they got like some type of family issues going on. They're trying to work shit out with their family. Um, but either way, I feel like this person is kind of, you know, in a little bit of denial about the way they feel about you. Because I see the feelings and I don't see them completely ending things with you. All right. 
So that's your love reading, general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but if it did resonate, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Show your girl some love. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. And there's also a Facebook link below. If you could like that Facebook page and don't forget to click that little bell, the notification bell that will let you know every time I go live or anytime I post a new Aquarius reading. So I will see you guys in the extended where I will pull your person's card, see how they feel about you, what actions they'll be taking moving forward. And I will get advice for you, pull Oracle cards for you as far as what you should do moving forward towards this person. All right. So um, again, thank you for watching. The extended reading link is below. I hope to see you there. And if not, I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and take care and stay blessed. Bye.